Where's the chassis so far? Here we go. Here's the motor we got lined up. This is ZX6R. It's a 600 Ninja motor. And today I'm working on the rear A arms. Here's one of the uppers. Right there, done. And just used a jig for these. Knocked them out pretty quickly. It's a different size bar from the pivot tube to the actual arms there. So I set it all up flat in here the first time without the spacers, made one arm, and now this second arm put the spacers in because it's a quarter inch difference between the two pipes. I made quarter inch spacers. So that way they're symmetrical on each side. But I'm going to get the pipe cut for these A arms and then get welding that second one. Hey, just out in the shop. Anyway, I finished the A arm yesterday that I was talking about, that I was working on, and I built the jig for the next, the lower rear A arms. I cut the pieces to make one. But I took a break from that because I got the, uh, I finally made it to the lathe to make the spacers for the rear housing here. I should go inside there, that's what I'm going to start making right now. with M10 bolts that go on there and they rotate on here to with a, another sprocket to tension the chain. We'll see how that works later on. But I'm going to start fitting this up and get it welded together. I just finished welding up the center housing here. Well, packed it together. So I'm going to weld it. parts machine just to make sure everything all fits nice but uh, that's it all together and that mounts on the back of the frame there I just got the three pedal assemblies going together today Pretty straightforward. The plans make a lot of this stuff so easy to build, but which is nice. Up the rear end, I they have a part that they they sell or that you can machine that goes fits inside here, but it's too big to fit my lace chuck that I have available to me. So I designed my own part. I have the part built, but I just am waiting for the adapter rings. I had plates cut that are that fit inside here and have an inner hole cut that my bearing retainer fits inside of and gets welded. So it works just like the original assembly. I can use the original chain tensioner and I use some Volkswagen CV flanges that I cut apart and welded on there. I'll show you that in the next update but uh, that'll be coming and once that's mounted I can start mounting the motor because you got to know where this drive chain goes make sure it all lines up bang on I'll get one of these pedals together and show you what they look like I got all the pedal boxes built here and the pedals Forward. But 
but uh, now I still got a machine. Well, I gotta cut the pivot tubes that weld inside of here. Go inside the pedal. I got all the pedal boxes built here and the pedals. Pretty straightforward. 